All right, so while this next tutorial may not get you invited back to too many dinner parties, it is going to significantly increase the readability of your unordered and ordered list in PowerPoint. And let me show you what I mean. So if I create a new PowerPoint here real quick, and I'm just going to change this layout to a content layout, and come in here and paste just some text from the previous slide. Here are two bullets. This is the default line spacing option for bullets. Now, if it weren't for these two bullets right here, it would be difficult to really see if this is one, two, three, four lines of text or two lines. And if I resize it, right, does this look like it is six lines of text or two individual bullets? It's very difficult to discern uh, the, with the line spacing as it is, really how this text should be grouped. But if we look at something like this, and here's the same text, just spaced differently, what a difference, right? You see that the, the line spacing within each bullet is actually a little tighter, and then there's some significant spacing uh, between each uh, bullet. Creates that grouping effect, that chunking, that really is what bullets are supposed to be for, right? To help readability. But when you're looking at something like this, it's almost impossible to know if this is, uh, again, two bullets or multiple bullets. And I wanna show you how to make that change. It's really simple, but it's gotta be one of the most overlooked areas in uh, PowerPoint and e-learning and just a lot of visual communication. So in PowerPoint, it's actually just as simple. Uh, we'll work with the same example we worked with before, right? So this was our content slide, our content placeholder with just body text. Going to right click and choose duplicate and we'll make this one a uh, unordered list. So I'm going to select this, delete it, and we're still in slide master, right? We're just moving on from the previous lesson. Select text and I'm going to drag out another text placeholder. So here's our default text. I'm just going to select all of this and I'll call this unordered list. And for the sake of this example, I will type a couple lists out so we can see what we're doing. All right, so this is the default spacing, exactly the same thing we just looked at. Select all the text, or I can select the text box. I wanna come up here to Home, and then the line spacing options right here. So by default, it's just set to one. Well, moving it to 1.5 isn't any help. It actually makes it worse, 2.0, and so on. Line spacing options, this is what we want. So the couple things, couple changes I wanna make here each time. Um, I make these on every course, sometimes I vary them, but I always want to make this change. It makes reading bullets considerably easier. Uh, the text indentation, this is how far over the text goes. Um, actually, let me do this real quick. I want to actually work with the size and the font that we're supposed to work with. So trebuchet, and then I also want to change this to 24. So bring this back up now, line spacing options. Right, indentation, how far over does this go? I always bring this in just a little bit, anywhere from 20, 25. Just brings the bullet a little bit closer over, a little tighter. I always wanna raise this a little bit, so this is 12. This is going to be the spacing above the second bullet, right? So whatever the spacing is before. Here's the big one, I wanna change this to multiple, and I wanna bring this somewhere, anywhere, depending on the list, between 0.7 and 0.9. So reducing that multiple of one and actually bringing it a little bit lower. Click OK, and there we go right? Look how much tighter these are. And if I highlight this, you can see the, uh, the, uh, the, the 12 point spacing before up here, right? It's still selected. There's that extra space that was created by the, the spacing options. But what a difference it makes, significant difference. The bullet's a little bit closer over to the actual text. We have a significant spacing between each line. Again, it might rank a little high on the nerdometer, but it's going to make a significant difference to how your bullets are read. So all I need to do now is just duplicate this and make a uh, do the same thing for an ordered list, right? But um, that's essentially that's the tip. It makes a big difference, and I uh, hope you'll uh, look at using that for your future courses. It makes a big difference.